So we're going to review a few quantitative indicators to show um, why we've arrived at where we are and, and how extreme the readings can be. And, and you know, you know, you don't have to take my word for it. You know, the, these are quantitative indicators that telegraph that we've reached such extremes that the risk reward shifts dramatically in the opposite direction. So why have we had this, this major bear market? You know, there, there are several corroborating factors. One of them, obviously, is a dramatic changes in real interest rates. So we go back to February of uh, 2021, two-year rates were around 2%, sorry, 10 basis points. You know, they subsequently rose to 280 basis points, a, a incredible rise in interest rates. And of course, you know, we've seen throughout the market, whether it's, you know, clean energy or, or, um, or, 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 or other novel uh, high tech that, you know, we've seen long duration assets get re hit really hard and biotech especially so because of its reliance on markets to fund its R&D. So you can see the correlation here between changes in real interest rates and the NASDAQ biotech index, very, very close. And you can see the impact. We went through a very similar period between the rate rising, uh, the interest rate rising period between uh, the summer of 2015 to the fourth quarter of 2018, where we saw similar rises in real interest rates and subsequent decline in biotech. We think that um, given the dramatic rise, we're probably in for a reprieve of some kind, and the sector has already discounted a fair amount of the, the rise in real rates.